Okay, you were in Savior since you were 4 years old until now that you're 17. So, what are those three things that you will miss in Savior? Anything, anything. One. Hi guys, I'm about to let you hear and listen to my son's letter to himself, to his... I'll explain it. Okay, hindi ko na intindihan na sinasabi. I let him explain this to you. <laughs> May ganun talaga. Oh, ayan ha, you listen guys and watch. Okay, so two years ago, my school um, tasked me and my classmates, tasked me and my classmates to write a letter to our future self um, for um, our graduating self. And they promised that they would give us the letter uh, before we graduate. And now the same people who facilitated that um, thing. Uh, that retreat. That retreat sent it. Sent to you the letter that you wrote two years ago so this was the letter tj wrote two years ago a letter for himself you're not gonna post this right? you will i will mm -hmm. in my vlog loud. <laughs> so i wrote this um february 22 2019 so now you're in grade 12 yeah you wrote that when you were Great then. Okay. Dear future me, to start off, I would like I would just like to say congratulations and well done. I'm so happy that you were able to surpass all the challenges, hardships, and problems of senior high school. I never thought I would actually overcome all that. By now, I know that you're still the kind, smart, and loving person you are since the beginning of high school. I'm so proud of you for accomplishing accomplishing my goals and fulfilling your duties as a Saviorian student. I hope that our grade 10 recollection managed to provide you a new perspective of life. Hoping that you are wiser than I am considering your age and grade level, an advice I could probably give you is keep moving forward. A phrase that we both admired from the Disney film, Meet the Robinsons. You should know that the future or our future depends on you. I hope that you were able to learn all the lessons, teachings, and from the experiences you had from our parents, siblings, and most importantly, with God. I sincerely hope you got into a deeper and more proactive relationship with God the Father before deciding which college and job to take in the future. I do believe that you still know our, our rule of not committing a relationship with someone unless you are financially stable and you are truly prepared to become a father and start a family. Remember to never leave behind the memories or moments where you've experienced the lowest points of your life because appreciating and accepting the negative things in your life will only make you stronger and better as an individual. Thank you also for helping our sister and our parents. Thank you for providing them the support and love they need. Never forget your family and never forget to take care of them for me. To conclude this letter, I hope you never forget the experiences you had in Saber School. Be grateful and compassionate that you were able to study there as it managed to improve us as people. Continue to let your light shine. Let's yet looks and goodbye. Sincerely, TJ Talagtag. So when is your graduation? Um, next week. On March. 24 2021 and can you share here the the three things lang just three things you you will miss in savior um kasi you were in savior since you were four years old until now that you're 17 so what are those three things that you will miss in savior anything anything one is um going to school back in school within school outside school one is firing school itself now um 
parang since I'm going off to college, it's gonna be a lot harder and challenging. And after college, it's working. And I'm going to miss um, high school and grade school, the times when things were less stressful and challenging. Uh, two, um, I would also miss the times uh, being fetched by my parents to and from school. Um, we don't know, pag baka sa college, ako na yung magpupunta on, my school, on, on school on my own. So, yeah. And lastly, what I would miss about school is I guess everyone else. Everyone else? Yeah, everyone I, um, I, I encountered in school and the places I've been to, like, I'll miss the classrooms, um, my teachers. All right. So now, what are you looking forward? Oh, yun na nga yung sinabi mo na dyan pala. Sorry. Can you share here? What do you want to say to your old self? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can you share to to the teenager, same age with you? Can you share them just one lesson or one, uh, like, what do you want to advise na lang? Advice to people my age or mas better kung people below my age whoever um, below so your age above your age I guess I guess I could say na sometimes um, plans never work out but you just have to have trust in God that his plans are his plans will prevail and way more Way more beyond our comprehension. Better. Way more better than our plans. Diba? Because like, as a, before, when I was great, then I um, can't imagine that I'm in this situation. Before my great 10 self wouldn't have imagined that there would be a pandemic. So you just have to have trust. Are you excited to go to college? <laughs> Alright, so guys, thank you for watching. Guys, thank you for watching my son's letter to himself. Hi! I'm gonna post this so that when time comes, TJ will, will go back to this video and remember all the things he said. So, and I hope you learned something from him from the lessons he shared from the advices he shared and thank you guys for being part of his journey mga videos na na share ko about him yung mga favorite books niya the first book he wrote and everything in between now that he's about to graduate i'm so proud of him and can't wait to share with you guys the future things that he's gonna do in his life so journey with us so journey with my son thank you guys for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe my video